moment, I'm going to introduce you to an incredibly special person. This individual has a system that will use the IRS to increase your bottom line. Not just in Florida, but all over the USA. In fact, during his current U.S. tour that has included such cities as New York, Chicago, and L.A., Albert Corey is a nationally known tax advisor. He has developed the IRS Will Increase Your Bottom Line system. With over 35,000 filed, he has clients in every corner of America. Early in his life, he had his mom do his return and had to pay the government. Albert then went on a mission that no one should pay the IRS. He would later go on to discover what would be known as the IRS Increase Your Bottom Line system, propelled by his desire for his clients to save on their tax returns. He quickly became recognized for taking on the most difficult cases, the ones no accountant would ever touch. And to many people's surprise, he was able to achieve miraculous results in a very short time with the IRS while Increase Your Bottom Line system. Albert Corey is a true beacon in the tax professional community. Albert is here today to share some powerful information that will assist you in saving and making money in your accounting needs. His talk today could possibly be your jumpstart in keeping more money in your pocket, if you permit it. We are incredibly fortunate to have him today. All right, that was what you guys got to see now. Mr. Albert Corey standing right here. Tax man! Tax president. Thank you. We're going to have a, a small presentation. It's a 20-minute presentation. Okay. Can everyone start to have, have a seat, please? All right. So our next presenter is Albert Corey from Albert Corey & Associates. You've been in the industry for <coughs> decades. Three decades. Three decades. You're going to do a small presentation. Yes. yes. All right. So I want to say three amazing things about you. Number one, he has amazing energy, right? Yes. There's a saying yes. that says, your energy introduces you before you even speak. Um, so Albert, you're funny, you're charismatic, and um, you have so much energy. I want to ask you, but where does all this energy come from? I think everybody in my house. You know, you make me laugh when you say, show me the money. Can everyone do this? Everyone go like this. Show, show me the money! I love when you do that. And uh, today, you're going to do a 20 minute presentation. No, by the way, the slides somehow didn't get connected, but it's okay, cool. All right, well, you built an amazing business. Thank you. Um, now you're going into the speaker circuit. You're going to be speaking all over the country. Yes. Um, I want to thank you personally for partnering up with Next Level Success because financial literacy is very important. Um, and I know you're funny and everything, but I know that now you're going to go into a little bit of a series. You're going to talk about some strategies. You're going to talk about the importance of saving money, the importance of maybe managing yeah. your finances, building, building wealth, building your business. Building your business. I yes. love it. Show some love for Taxman Albert. Right uh, today we're going to talk about the massive growth, massive growth, five steps to grow your business, um, immediate results. Um, I have this over here. Hey, first of all, my favorite thing is I want you to tell everybody, say, show me the money. Show, show me, me the money. Man, you don't like having any money. I didn't hear anything. One more time. Show, show, show me the money. money. Very simple. My name is Albert Corey. Um, I have studied, you can look in the back. I've been with Grant Cardone, Bill Walsh, um, Tony Robinson. I think I spent money with everybody, um, <laughs> almost everybody. You name it, we've been there. But guess what? I was never that way. You know, growing up, um, I was always picked on, bullied, last to be picked. How many can relate? Did you always last to be picked? You know, picked on. You know, but I, I was really, I could really sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I know. Well, I'm sorry. This is a small, popular crowd. I'm sorry. <laughs> but guess what? I grew up to have a big business. You know, we have an office. Carl's been there. If you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, they have a real office in Hialeah that, trust me, I pay enough rent. Um, today, we're going to talk about my five steps to grow your business and have to increase your bottom line. Right, the first one is, guess what, is an accountant. Like I started earlier, okay, you gotta be careful who you go to. Let me tell you some of the stuff that you don't do. Well, if you do do it, chances are you're gonna be calling me later. So I'm gonna tell you what you don't do. If you got a small business, one of the things I will tell you don't do is, obviously you don't use TurboTax. Why don't you use TurboTax? Because it doesn't talk back to you. 
Do you know how many people come to my office that they I get paid for to do a re, to send it up e-filing because um, they don't know what it got accepted, they don't know what happened. We've been doing e-filing since 1990, so we were one of the first ones to do e-file. So that's one thing. Make sure you don't go to nobody's house if you got a business. Okay, if you got a business, okay, don't go to somebody who does it on their dining room table with dogs barking. Okay, yeah. I've heard that before. Right, what you need to do is make sure that people's name on the bottom. And another reason why, and don't do your bookkeeping yourself. Okay, let me ask you one question. If you have a heart attack, okay, are you going to go to the car and get your jumble cameras and go, <laughs> and bring yourself back? No. No, of no. course not. Yeah. So go and find somebody, okay? Go and find somebody that will do it or help you. You know, make sure you get somebody that you do it. Um, one of the ways you can find out you can do it is, you know, you can go check. There's three ways to check um, to see. You can do Google reviews. You know, Google reviews is real good. You can get referrals. And you can check Yelp. There's um, Angie's List. There's a bunch of other people. So check the reviews. I mean, obviously, I can tell you Google reviews is probably one of your biggest, biggest ways. I mean, if you go and, and Google Corey Tax or Highly Accountant, we have 141 reviews with a 4.8 rating. How's that, guys? That's awesome. And, and that's kind of what I'm going to talk about, how you can grow your stuff. Okay, it's very easy. You know, it's so easy. You know, if you got an online business, okay, you know, you need to go get the reviews because it's social proof. I mean, trust me, you can go to all these other websites. Anybody can get any picture on Fiverr and put a little picture and say, oh, look, this is my referral. But wouldn't you say Google? Google is your number one source. Mm, yep. I mean, can anybody cheat Google? No. And I'll give you another little clue here. You know, after 149 reviews, I can honestly say, I didn't, you know, somebody said, well, you put some of them in your You know, so another thing um, you got to do is business cards. Um, the slide's not working, but we got all our business cards over there. I know business cards. Oh, even yeah. oh, my orange card. Yeah, those oh, and my yeah. orange card. Yeah, they're good. They're good. Um, you know, my business cards. Okay, I know it's controversial, but you know, a lot of you guys say like e cards, you know, millenniums and all that stuff. <coughs> well, let me tell you about business cards. Okay, they got to be clean. Okay, it's the easiest rate of return on your money. You can go check out my card. Easiest rate of return. You can spend $60, and I'll guarantee you, out of that $60 box, if you don't, and let me take a little survey here. All right, what is your average ticket? Everybody tell me how much you make an hour. I guarantee you, you make more than $60 in a year, correct? Yeah. Raise your hand and say, yes. 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 All right. So if one car. It makes it in a minute. <laughs> okay, with one card, uh, I'm sorry, you know, if one card, why is it important? Because I can tell you, I can tell you there's so many people. I understand emails, and I know we went over to instant message, that, you know, what other kind of stuff. But let me tell you why sometimes that doesn't work. Okay, just right, right, he's right. I get the card, I DM you, I email you, God bless you, we had a good time at an event. Blah, blah, blah. You're right. No question of that. But what happens if three months later, I need your service? Okay, all right, all right, you know, sure. Three months later, I mean, unless you're really, 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 really consistent, which by the way, most of you aren't, to get every single one, or I'll even answer this question. What happens if you change the Instagram name? Well, what happens if you go dark because of, uh, you know, I don't want my boyfriend to know. I changed boyfriend. I changed life. You know? You know? Life changes. All right? Life changes. But if I, if I as a consumer, have the card, okay, you can come back. And second of all, there's always going to be, I'll guarantee you, there's always going to be in that box of, of 1,000 cards, there's always going to be five people. I mean, I can tell you one person. I can tell you about four people in my life who might need Instagram help, but they're not an Instagram. There's a lot of older people 
who might want businesses, right, who want to, you know, who want to get in touch. But they don't know the system. You know, and you know, I can tell you two or three, but if they got your card and three months later, if three months later they want to get a hold of you, because now it's, oh man, there's somebody, yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of clients on Instagram. You know, it's there. Um, you can always get a hold of it. Um, another big thing, um, another big thing I always say to you is events, okay? Events are some of the biggest things you need to go to. And now there's two types of events. Obviously, these are our local events. It's very cool, you know, we go out, and, and I can tell you after going to local events, um, Gary and everybody tell you, you get to meet a lot of local people. Very cool. You get to meet a lot of people. But you also got to go and hit the national events. Yeah. Okay. You got to get out and take that credit card and you got to jump to go wherever they're at. Why is that important? Because you got to go out and see other people in that industry. You know, you got to meet and collaborate. And second of all, it's always so cool, okay, that you went out and say, hey, like I was at the 10X um, Growth Con. Okay, I was at 10X. All right, and I was in the front. And let me tell you another funny story. Um, I don't know if you Grant Cardone is, but let me give you a little story. He had, what, 30,000? Okay, some people, when I was talking to him, well, he only had 20,000. He lied. Oh, okay, sorry. There's 20,000 people. All right. But I'll guarantee you that people who sat in the front, you know, what I'll tell you, you got to go spend money because what's going to happen? I'll guarantee you that people who spent the $99 in the nosebleed seats, Seat, and they're having the event of Marlins Park at a ball game. I'll guarantee you those people aren't going to do any deals with you. I will give you $1,000 if you went and spent those no bleed seats and you made any deals with you. Now, if you went, to, if you went and went down lower, and I did lower, and then I'll tell you how I got that picture in a minute. That if you went down lower, that, okay, now you're talking to people. I mean, I had Diamond VIP. I mean, I only went for a few hours because I had to work that weekend. You know, it is tax time, and I only work 96 days a year, but I had to work that day. And guess what? I'm there, and I'm talking to people. I'm passing out cards, and people are asking me questions. So I got the name out. You know, I'm doing my little, and I'll go back in a minute, go doing my Facebook Lives. Okay, I'm doing my Lives, and I'm getting out there, and people say, oh, you're with Grant. You know, and I say, yeah, okay. But another reason why you go and you have to pay VIP and spend the money, look at the social proof. Look at all you people, and, I, and you're in my office, yep. I can count how much money I make, okay? Because my picture, if you go on the Instagram, I mean, I got thousands of pictures, but on Instagram, what, go on, everybody check my Instagram, and who am I holding hands with? Tony, Tony Robbins. Robbins. Thank you! <laughs> and let me ask you a question. When, with Tony Robbins, you think when he was here last year at Fort Lauderdale, and there was like, it's a Fort Lauderdale auditorium, I think they said there were 6,000 people. So if you were in the seats that were like five big um, jumbotrons later, where you talk to them, because that's where the bathrooms were, and they go, it's like, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> okay? You think you're going to get any picture with them? No. These big dogs, you know, they don't care. They're so busy that unless you spend the money, they ain't gonna listen. They, you're not, they're not gonna take a picture of the $99 one. And I can understand why, because the $99 people aren't gonna take no action. Okay, the $99 people, let me tell you something. The worst thing you can do, the worst thing you can do is go free. You can wish you go free. Okay, that's the worst, because these people don't show up. I mean, I can tell you another story. I know, like, it's crazy, but I can tell you a story how free doesn't work. And, and it, you know, a couple of years ago, I don't know if you know what ClickFunnels or ClickBank was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, ClickBank was a thing you can sell, instant affiliate marketing, all the stuff like that. Well, guess what? I paid somebody. If you heard my story, uh, I got stuck in the past. Well, I got busy during tax time. And I paid somebody like $3,000 to build up my ClickFunnels funnel. Tax time happened, and guess what? I, I sent traffic, I paid traffic. It took 29 people to tell me, to say, oh, do you know there's nothing in the back? 
And this was like a $7 intro offer. Yeah. Now, you know what that told me? That the other 28 people never even bothered. But I can tell you that all the people who go spend the money at those big events, I'll guarantee you, you they start spending that 500 to a grand to show up, okay, they're ready to take action. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're, you're at a bigger playing level. Yeah. You know, and get back to those pictures. Go get them back there. And, and you saw um, Carl's video coming out. I mean, I got him like big, big pictures on my wall. And people come into my office and they go, Oh, you had no Tony Robinson? I go, Yeah, so? It's like your eyes are big. It's because I played the biggest level. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been to, you can see that bag that's not covered. I mean, I've been to Australia nine times, okay? How many of you can say you've been to Australia nine times? <laughs> No, well, my in-laws live there, so that doesn't count. <laughs> but, you know, but I play at the biggest level. So you go to the events, and, you know, and you got to play big. You know, and another thing is, um, another thing is you got to go out and brand yourself. Okay, you know, I wasn't going to talk about this, but I'll talk about this now. Um, but branding is the number one thing, guys. Mm -hmm. It is so easy to make money today. You know, you don't really need it. I mean, Instagram is cool, Facebook is cool, but let me tell you the funniest story ever. And you were here, you, you, and this is a true story, Monday night. What did, true story, right, Carl? Yeah. What did um, Kyle say? I didn't even know he was there. What did he tell me? I didn't even recognize him. What did he say? He was like, yo, it's the tax man. He was just so excited. Was so excited, like, and guess yeah. what? I didn't see him 18 months ago. Yep. 18 months. Why? Because I branded. You know, y'all were laughing. That that's why my name, you know, I mean, this is kind of like a new thing going out and saying, everybody knows the tax man. You see in the front of my truck that says the tax man. But for the last hundred years, everything's been 1040W2. You know, you go out, you make sure that email's that way. You make sure whatever you do, okay? I mean, I don't put 1040W2 on my shirts um, because, you know, nobody would understand that. That, that's one thing. Um, and tax man, when I went to go get it back in the Stone Ages, you know, I bet you that domain was bought way back, pre-internet. Yeah. And I've had the 1040W2 form since 2007. Okay, two minutes left? Okay, guys, um, real quick, um, anybody any questions? Uh, by the way, yeah. let me ask you a question. I forgot to say something. Give everybody Carl. Let's go, yay, Carl, yay! <laughs> to get a hold of me, Carl will tell you I have a real office and I pay real rent every month. <laughs> Trust me. Right, Carl? Is it a small office? No, you got a big office, man. Right in the middle of Hialeah. Everybody knows who you are. Your sign is like, the, it takes up the whole parking lot. Thank you. <laughs> um, like I said earlier, um, I got some awesome free gifts. 26786. Um, and in the box you put tax man. Um, it's going to pop up. I got like the first one, you can get the book. Um, you know, you can get the book there. Um, we got the, the stuff that, uh, the $296 I quiz that we got um, from Bill Walsh, it works. You get the first chapter of um, Perception. And anybody who buys, I got seven with me tonight. If you buy seven, anybody who buys them, um, I'll autograph them. Oh, I, I gotta tell you what else happened last week. If you followed me on Facebook and stuff, did you see it last week? Well, if you didn't follow me on Facebook, where I sold one guy to Doug. How everybody can go out and change the world. So I bought three, I had them shipped in, because these were just literally done last Friday. I mean, it started coming in. And I started talking like you do everybody. If anybody knows me long enough, I talk a lot. Probably talk more than anybody else and don't give anybody a chance, but that's okay, that's me. Um, so anyways, I started talking, and Doug from Toronto starts crying. He goes, man, thank you. Thank you. You are helping. I mean, just that by that made me feel so happy, you know. And so we got these books, and, like, he was number one, you know. And, like, and Bill Walsh was so excited he got number two. Well, sorry, he had, like, second person in line. So anyways, I'll autograph the book. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll autograph the book. And anybody questions, I'm in the back. I also got my cool, see I like giving good stuff away. I got my little flyers 
Back there, they gave the 330 tips that I saved my clients thousands of dollars. Okay, thousands of dollars. I mean, they worked, and trust me, um, trust me, my clients have never gotten out of trouble, you know. All of my business clients, okay, none of them have you ever gotten audited by something I did. Um, and anyway, any questions, we're here. Yes, sir. Um, how valuable do you think at tax man on this be trade? How much would you pay for that? You know, I thought of that. You talk, you, talk, you talk about branding. I think that's the best branding. You can right, but what happens is we've had, you're right, but I've had my website and my email 1040W2 since 2007. You don't want to, you're right, but I don't want to just join my, you know, I wish I could, you know, when I tried to go on YouTube to get 1040W2, I couldn't get it, somebody had it. Yeah. So I, the biggest thing, like you said, you want to join it across all platforms. Mm -hmm. But and you can have them both. They both take it to the same place. If somebody looks taxman, boom, you can get the I didn't have, see, okay. I'm, I'm like new. Um, and one thing I didn't really talk about real quick was Facebook Lives, where I made a lot of money on that. Yeah. Because um, I pretty much doing this not for my slides, so I, I didn't really talk. Everybody wants to know, like, my think on Facebook Lives. Um, I've made over $5,000 on Facebook Lives. Yeah. I'm real easy. I mean, Facebook Lives, real quick, as opposed to Instagram Lives, um, it can make you an authority figure a lot. To me, to me, it can make you an authority figure real quick because you can pigeon it down to your avatar, and every day I go on and give people value and tips. And when you do Instagram lives and into your big groups, like I have to do the Grand Cardone people because there's 10,000 people. So now every day when I go on, there's 10,000 people, and I might only have like 500 as my friends, not even, but now like I'm broadcasting mm -hmm. to 8,000 people. Yeah. That's why I might take the difference between Instagram live and, and Facebook lives. Because I can target people, not necessarily target, it's like having your own radio station. And it's targeted to your people. Yeah. Awesome. Very right. really good. Everyone, go ahead. Any questions? Question? All right. Question? Anyone you know, have any questions for the tax man? Yes. Why do you use pink paper? Oh. Pink you want to know why? Pink simple. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Simple. I, I got those today, and I want to have the color. This is a true story. Um, I wish I could make my folders pink, but my team says no because. I don't want you to lose it. I actually wanted the, the brightest color they had in Office Depot in Hialeah, and that's what they gave me. Hialeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hialeah, baby. Yeah, I love it. I love it. All right, guys. Well, one more time for the test. Thank you guys so much. Bye, guys. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. Thank you for listening to The Taxman Show. If you have any questions, please leave it below or email it to albert at 1040w2.com. Remember, sharing is caring. Please follow us on all social media platforms.